kiddos. Um, welcome to your Bible class time. I'm so glad to be able to back, be back with you. Um, I can't wait to see you again in person. I hope you had a wonderful Easter with your family. And now we're going to dive back into our lessons after Easter. Remember, we talked about um, Jesus going to the temple, and now we're going to talk about a grown-up Jesus and two of his friends whose names were Mary and Martha. But first, we're going to bow our heads and close our eyes and pray. Dear Father, we thank you so much for your true words in the Bible. Thank you that we can know you better and love you more. Please help us to have listening ears and hope open hearts to the things that you want to teach us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I heard that you kids really like to sing the song, Thy Word is a Lamp to My Feet. So we're going to sing it. Um, I think that we, we're not going to tap our fingers or anything. We'll sing it together. Ready? Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. When I feel afraid, think I've lost my way, still you're there right beside me. Nothing will I fear as long as you are near. Please be near me to the end. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Did you kids know that is a Bible verse? I think it's Psalm 119. It's a psalm, and now you know that scripture, don't you, if you know the psalm? All right, I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to dive into our Bible lesson. Mary and Martha followed Jesus and this is found in Luke chapter 10 verses 38 through 42. So there is also a scripture in the Old Testament, Ecclesiastes, that's a big word, isn't it? chapter 3 verses 1 through 3 and that tells us that to everything there's a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven a time to weep a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance king solomon wrote this he was a very wise man and so this tells us that there's a time to do certain things. Sometimes there's a time to play, isn't there, kids? But then there's also a time where your mom and dad would like you to help with chores, to help around the house, or to learn. And then we also know that there's a time where we can learn about Jesus, like you're doing right now, and to read our Bibles. Well, our characters today are in our true story in the Bible. Her name is Martha, and she learns this very important lesson in our story today, that there's a time to do different things. Mary and Martha were friends of Jesus, and they loved him very much. And they wanted to show Jesus how much they loved him. So they invited Jesus to stay at their house, and they were very excited for him to come. What would you do if Jesus were coming to your house? You would probably make sure your room was cleaned up and you would help your mom tidy up the house and your mom would probably make sure there was plenty of food to eat and the best food she could buy. You would want everything to be perfect for Jesus. Well, that is just what Martha and Mary did. They got everything ready and they had so much to do. And by the time Jesus arrived, Martha was probably feeling a little overwhelmed. And to make matters worse, her sister Mary wasn't helping with the chores. Instead, she was sitting at Jesus's feet, listening to his every word. Well, Martha was not happy. 
she started to complain and pout. And she went up to Jesus and said, Jesus, make Mary come into the kitchen and help me. It isn't fair for me to have to stay in the old hot kitchen and do all of the cooking while she gets to be with you. Do you think that Martha had a right to complain or feel mad at her sister? Would you be mad if your sister or brother or friend left you to do all of the work while he or she just sat at Jesus's feet? Well, what do you think Jesus said? Do you think he told Martha to get up and go help her sister or to told Mary to get up and go help her sister? No, he did not. Jesus just smiled and said, Martha, Martha, you are busy with many things. I know you want to have a delicious dinner for me, but I won't be here for very long. Mary has chosen the best thing to do. Instead of just wishing you were with Mary and me, why not sit down right now and join us? Well, Martha, she sat down at Jesus's feet with Mary and together they enjoyed the wonderful stories Jesus told them about God. See, Jesus knew that there's a time for everything. Sometimes it's time to work. And other times it's time to sit and enjoy your guests. So Martha was doing the right thing, but she wasn't, but she was doing it at the wrong time. Martha was so busy making sure everything was just right that she wasn't enjoying Jesus's company like Mary was. So why was Martha busy with chores? And what was Mary doing? Why was Martha upset? What did Jesus say to Martha? And how can we spend time with God every day? All right, children, I have three worksheets for you to help you learn a little bit more about our story. There's a crossword puzzle and a word lineup. Um, kids, younger kids might need some help with those, writing those letters or helping with scram unscramble those words. And then we have a coloring page too of Martha and Mary and Jesus. All right, children, I am so glad you took the time um, to learn more about Jesus. And I hope that you take the time every day to learn about Jesus and get to know him better and love him more. I miss you, kiddos. I love you so much. You guys take care until we see each other again. Bye.